Welcome back guys, a free FSR frame generation mod is now available for Elden Ring, developed by user Hutai. It is compatible with all GPUs, supports, DLSS, XCSS and FSR upscalers. In this video, I will be testing the mod on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. As I have an RTX GPU, I will be using DLSS upscaler. At the time of recording this video, the latest version of the mod comes with DLSS version 3.7.2 and FSR version 3.1.1 so I'll be manually updating both DLSS and FSR this mod is even compatible with Linux I'll be testing it on my Steam Deck soon installation instructions have been provided on the mods Nexus mods website I'll quickly go through them just need to extract the mods contents to this directory Elden Ring game in order to use the mod we need to disable anti-cheat this means you won't be able to play the game in online mode with the mod installed in order to run the game in offline mode, just need to add this launch option to the game via Steam. Just need to set the game's resolution from the in-game settings to our target resolution, that is, our monitor's resolution. My monitor supports up to full HD resolution. That's the resolution that I'll be using. The mods menu can be opened by pressing the home key. From the mod menu, we can access the upscale and frame generation settings. Known issues section, flickering global illumination. Mostly visible in shaded areas, it's caused by either NVIDIA drivers or Elden Ring itself but made more prevalent by the mod. These are the workarounds for it. Restarting the game can resolve the issue temporarily using the global illumination glitch mitigation option in advanced setting frame generation. But this option comes with a small performance penalty. Rolling back NVIDIA GPU drivers to version 552.12, I don't recommend this. Using DXVK plus VKD3D, translation less, doesn't support DLSS on Windows, not recommended as well. Setting global illumination to low can reduce the intensity, okay. Some folks reported that tuning on ray tracing can make the issue go away. This is also another option. But in this game, ray tracing comes with a very heavy performance penalty. Game UI color is slightly off and requires manual configuration in HDR. There may be some glitches on non 16-9 resolutions outside of the main 16-9 screen area. Conflicts with other OLA mods using standalone installation method. I won't be using any other mod with this mod. Cannot be loaded by adding to special K plugins. FSR frame generation plus special K. If Elden Ring screen mode is set to full screen, the game will constantly try to reset its output swap chain causing flashes. I'll be just running the game in borderless window mode. Special K overlay is invisible. Won't be using special K. In order to download the mod, just click on files here. You need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Click on manual download. Just download the latest version of the mod. At the time of recording the video, it's version 3.0.0-4. Click on slow download. NVIDIA updated TLSS subscaler just a few days ago. The latest version is 3.8.10. We'll be downloading it from Tech Power of website. It's the DLL file. Compared to the older version of DLSS, the latest version helps in reducing VRAM usage which translates to slightly better performance. There is a minor improvement in anti-aliasing as well. Now DLSS upscaler comes with multiple profiles ranging from alphabet A to E. Each profile helps in improving the image quality and reducing ghosting especially around the particles. Generally, the newer profiles are better than the older ones. By default, DLSS version 3.7 supported profile E. With the latest version 3.8, NVIDIA has completely removed profile A, B, C and D. Only profile E and F are remaining. Profile F is recommended to be used with DLAA and DLSS Ultra Performance Preset. For Elden Ring, I will be using profile E. Just download the latest version. Click on download here. Now just click on any of the servers. Download will start. In order to update FSR, just need to download Fidelity FX SDK version 1.1.2. You can download it from GitHub. I'll give the link to the website in the description of the video. FSR 3.1.2 support. Scroll down to the end. Expand the assets section. Click on the dot zip link. First, I'll be disabling anti-cheat. Just copy this launch option from here. Highlight it. Select the game in your Steam library. Click on the settings cog here. Click on properties. Click on general. Under launch options, paste this line of text. Now I'll be installing the mod, open its archive file, select the two DLL files and this folder, copy them, don't need to copy this add-on file, now open the games install directory, 
select the game in your steam library right click manage click on browse local files now open game folder paste the mod files here in my case these files are already present so i'll just overwrite them now i'll be updating dlss upscaler just open the upscaler zip file that we downloaded earlier copy this dll file open the games install directory where you pasted the mod files now open erss2 folder open bin folder paste the dll file here overwrite check the version of dlss right click properties details version 3.8.10 now i'll be updating fsr just open fidelity fx sdk dot zip file open bin folder you need to copy this dll file amd underscore fidelity fx underscore dx12 open the games install directory where you pasted the mod files open erss2 folder open bin folder paste the file here overwrite again check its version It should be 1.0.1.38338. This is 5SR 3.1.2. If you have an RTX GPU, make sure hardware accelerated GPU shuttling setting is enabled. Right click anywhere in the desktop area. Then click on display settings. Click on graphics setting. Then click on change default graphics setting. Hardware accelerated GPU shuttling should be enabled from here. If your display supports VRR, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable VSync and LLM setting from NVIDIA control panel. If you have an AMD based GPU, just enable the corresponding settings from Adrenaline software. Click on Manage 3D settings and click on Program settings. From this drop down bar, select Elton Ring. Scroll down to the end, enable VSync from here. Scroll up a bit. Look for Low Latency Mode setting, set it to Ultra. Click on Apply. My monitor supports VSync Premium, it's a G Sync compatible monitor. Click on Setup G Sync, enable these settings from here. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible, enable for full screen mode and enable settings for the selected display model. Click on apply. I'll be testing the DLC of Elden Ring, Shadow of War 3. At launch, it suffered from performance issues, but the game has received many updates since then. It's in a much better state now. We'll be using Afterburner overlay to show you the performance metrics. We are in. It's running in offline mode, version of the game 1.16. Open the mods menu by pressing the home key. Frame generation, none. First, I'll run the game without it. Super sampling, can select from DLSS, FSR3, and XVSS. I'll just select DLSS. HDI is supported. Quality level, using the quality preset. Render preset, I'll just set it to E. Sharpening level enabled, 0.5. In game setting. Display mode borderless window, full HD resolution, ray tracing off. I'll just set the graphics preset to maximum and disable motion blur. Global illumination high. I'll show you the mods setting to mitigate global illumination artifacts. Just click on view here, then click on advanced settings. Frame generation, GI mitigation setting, there it is. It is set to minimal by default. Comes with a small performance penalty. Reduce GI flickering at a very small performance penalty. It's mentioned in the description. If you use the full mode, performance impact will increase. It will further help in reducing the GI artifacts. I'll stick with minimal preset. We are in. Yeah, the game's FPS is capped at 60. I'm at Skadoo Atlas. This is the game running without frame generation. Not observing any artifacts around the grass. DLSS upscaler is enabled using its quality preset. Resolution upscale from 720p to full HD. So DLSS is doing a good job. No ghosting around the fire particles. They are floating around. You can see the fire golem in the background. Okay, I'll just enable frame generation now. GPU load before enabling frame generation around 
so we have enough free gpu resources for frame generation to work properly home frame generation set to fsr3 when you enable frame generation for the first time you will be required to restart the game in order to apply it not required in my case as i have already tested the game with the mod installed okay now i'll show you some combat frame pacing graph is mostly a flat line gpu load is around 90 percent so the game's performance seems to be limited by the single core cpu performance check out cpu one usage it's around 70 percent i'm looking for a knight Hundred FPS here. There's the knight. I'll just move around it. Camera angle is the hardest boss in this game. Knight is done. I'll just barge into that settlement. Engage with the fire golem. Keep an eye on the FPS counter. Even here, we are not hitting the GPU bottleneck. Oh my god. 83 FPS. Yeah, so 80 to 110 FPS. Not bad at all with frame generation enabled. Considering the game's FPS is capped at 60. Just a few hitches here and there. Performance was mostly stable. There goes my torrent. That's it with the video guys. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.